Hello, my name is Paul Jones with Linear Corporation and today we're going to do a template restoral. The template restoral. What we've done is on this memory stick we have put 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14 door installations. What we plan to do today is do a simple restoral and get this eMERGE panel up and running. I have an eMERGE panel with seven ACM blades in it, so I need to do a 14-door restoral. The first thing I need to do is log into my eMERGE panel. Once I'm logged in, I'll go to Setup, System Maintenance, Restore System. I need a file to upload and I will browse to the memory stick. Select the 14 doors, save it, and we'll upload it. Once uploaded, we'll return to the restore page select the backup and restore. We do want to replace the current system with the contents of the backup so I'll select OK and the restore has begun. Depending on the speed of the computer you're using it could take up to 20 minutes. Uh, the computer I'm using it normally takes 5 to 8 minutes. Once I see the restore has been completed I need to go in and see if the unique identifier that the template was created on is in the network controller area. So I will select Site Settings, Network Controllers, and I indeed see two unique identifiers. We name this node Controller Node. What I need to do is swap the unique identifiers and do a node swap. So I will select Controller Node, Commands, Swap, select the unique identifier, and save. We do want to swap the unique identifiers, so I'll select OK. It's always a good idea at this point to go ahead and log out and log back in. select network controller and I indeed see that my controller node is connected. It's always a good idea to go in and look at the blades and make sure that the restoral is complete. So I will select controller node, blades, and I'm looking for the labeling of the blades. We have labeled these blades door 1, door 2, and so on. I see door 1 reader, door 2 reader, door 1 DSM for door contact, Rex request to exit. We also have programmed in a lock and a secondary output for a door held open. Once I'm confident that the restoral is completed, I want to go back to my network controller and delete the original unique identifier as it is no longer needed. I'll go back to Network Controller, and I do have one controller. It is connected. I'm ready to test. Before I do that, I need to add a card. So I will select Administration, People, and I'll do a search. As this is the initial test, I will just use a System Administrator. I can either type the card number in hot stamp number and encoded number, or I have a badging reader, so I will select Read Card.
Note the card number, and if you're using the linear IEI cards, there has been a format already created for you. We've also created an access level, all access, which is all the doors. And I'll save. And it's time to begin testing. I'll go to monitor, activity log, and I'll begin testing my doors. We need to relabel these portals. So I'll go into access control. portals. Now this is site specific. My door 1 is actually the front door, so I will rename it front door. On this specific installation, I'm not using door status monitor or door contacts, so I will remove them from the portal. I'm not using a request to exit. I will remove it from the portal, and I'm not using a door held open output, so I will remove it from the portal, and save. After I've re renamed my portal, I need to rename my blade. So I will go into network node, blades, access blade, reader number one is actually the front door associated with that portal so I will relabel it, and save. I will take out the door status monitor that has been pre-programmed pre in. I will take out the door one request to exit. And I will also remove the secondary output. I've relabeled my reader. I also need to relabel my lock. Once I've relabeled all my blades, it's a good idea to do one more test. And my program is completed. I hope this helps. My name is Paul Jones. Have a great day.